Thanks for watching Lessons in Minutes with Jay Lee. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Today's lesson is on the recording of accounting information. In looking at the recording of accounting information, this specific area there is journal entries because that seems to be a challenge for individuals. And for those journal entries, I'll be looking at the issue of shares, payment of dividend, treasury stock, and the purchase of investment. To cover these areas, I will be using 2017 question 1C for that. Before you respond to any question, read through your question thoroughly and identify those main things that are required from the question, the main points coming from the question. Now, the equity section of the statement of financial position for Le Appetite as at December 31st, 2015 was as follows. You're required to prepare the journal entries without narratives to record the transactions above. No. Ordinary shares at $5 par, that's 250. Share premium, 125. Retain earnings, 400,000. And these are the transactions that took place during 2016. The first transaction reads, March 12, repurchase 2,500 own shares at $7 per share. Once a business is repurchasing their own shares, that is known as treasury stock, or the transaction could state that the business has redeemed their own shares. Again, that is treasury stock. Once there is treasury stock, once they repurchase the shares, then there is an increase in treasury stock that would be debited and the cash or bank would be credited to show the reduction in the cash account or in the bank account, depending on the method of payment. Now, once you repurchase shares, that is basically a reduction in the stock that was issued. When you issue stock, that's a credit entry. So if it is that there's a reduction in the stock, it therefore means that you're going to debit. And we're going to enter that in the general journal. Our account to be debited is treasury stock, or you could use, or you could use ordinary shares as your details or common stock as your details. So we have to calculate the value that we're going to record in the general journal, the value that would be recorded in each account. And that is the 2,500 shares multiplied by the price per share, which is $7. And that would give us $17,500. Next, we are going to show the reduction in the bank account. Why bank? because they did not tell us specifically the method of payment. So I'm going to use bank. If you use cash in exam, definitely they're going to give you your response. So no worry, they're going to give you your mark. So don't worry about that. Next, June 16. June 16, issued 4,000 ordinary shares at $6.50 per share. Issued 4,000 ordinary shares at $6.50 per share. Now, if you look at the introduction, you would notice that ordinary shares, the par value is $5. Now they're issuing it at $6.50. So therefore, the ordinary shares are being sold above the par. And once it is being sold above the par, the excess goes to the share premium account. And it's also known as paid in capital. Once you sell shares, your bank or your cash will be debited. And the value that was generated from the sale of those 4,000 shares will be 4,000 multiplied by $6.50. And that would give you a value of $26,000. The account to be credited because you have issued shares, ordinary shares, your ordinary share capital account will be credited. 
ordinary share will be credited. The amount that you're going to credit to your ordinary shares would be the value at par. And that would be the 4,000 multiplied by the par value of $5. And that give you a value of $20,000. Because it is sold above par, we have share premium and share premium accounts would be credited. So I tend to be credited their share premium. The value that we're going to credit to our share premium, there are two ways in which you can calculate it. The 26,000 minus what goes to your ordinary share capital, which is 20,000. And that would give you $6,000. Another way in which you could calculate it would be the 4,000 multiplied by the excess above par, which would have been a dollar and 50 cents. And that would still give you $6,000. Now we're going to move into the next transaction and that is September 25th. Paid interim dividend of $20,000. The double entry for that, because you're paying out the dividend, your dividend payable account would be debited and the value that is paid out for dividend there is $20,000. Your cash or bank account is credited. I'm using bank because the method of payment was not given. If you use cash, you're still going to get your, your mark in exam. And the value to be credited there is $20,000. We're going to move into October 31st. And October 31st, read. Paid interest on 5% debenture of, of $100,000. Now this 5% that you're seeing there represents the interest to be paid out on the debentures. So that payment of the 5% interest on the debenture of 100,000 results in an increase in the expense of debenture interest. And our calculation there is 5% of the value of the debenture, which is $100,000. And that gives us a value of $5,000. We are going to indicate that we made a payment, which is a reduction in the asset there, whether it be cash or bank. I'm using bank again because the method of payment was not given and that is $5,000. And we are on to the final transaction, which is November 15. And that reads, purchase 2,000 ordinary shares in Carib Garage at $3 each as an investment. Once you purchase in shares for investment, there's an increase in the investment. So therefore you are going to debit that account. So the account to be debited there is investment. And you could indicate that that is from Carib Garage. And the value that you will be recording is 2,000 times $3 because you have purchased 2,000 ordinary shares in Carib Garage and the value per share is $3. And that would give us a result of 6,000 as the value and the account to be credited. Of course, you're gonna show the reduction in the asset of whether cash or bank that is used to make the payment. And the value is $6,000. So remember the calculation is the 2,000 shares purchase multiply by the $3 per share, and that give us $6,000. And that takes us to the end of completing journal entries for the for treasury stock, which is a repurchase of own shares, the issue of shares, and the shares were issued above par value, so therefore there is share premium, the payment of dividend, the payment of the venture interest and the purchase of investment in Carib Barrage. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.